Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewit channel. So in this previous video, we have discussed about the Dermanesis. In this video, we will be discussing about the Ornithonesis. So from the word itself, we can know that it, the, it belongs to the Ornitho, that is the bird. Yeah. So these are the northern mite of poultry or northern mite of fowl, Ornithonesis. So Ornithonesis is a mite of the genus which is from the family Macronesidae. We have taken the data and the diagrams from the so taxonomy moving to Animalia, Arthropoda, Arachnida, Mesostigmata, and family is Macronisidae, and the genus is Ornithonesis. So this is a generalized Mesostigmata view which we have seen the, in the previous video that is the Dermanesis. So the synonym is Ornithonesis silvarium has got the northern mite of poultry, Ornithonesis bursa tropical fowl mite, Ornithonesis bacotti tropical rat mite. So the family Macronisidae, these are relatively large blood-sucking ectoparasites of birds and only the protonyms and the adult stages will feed on blood. This is very important point. So the female genital shield and the male holoventral shield taper posteriorly to coxae 4. Very important point. They have the relatively long legs and can be seen with the naked eyes. So moving to the species, we have actually Ornithonisus silvarium, which will be attacking the chicken, poultry, pigeon, wild birds, etc. Ornithonisus bursa will be acting on poultry and wild birds. So this is the adult to female Ornithonisus silvarium. You can see the images of Ornithonisus bacotti. These are the Ornithonisus species. See the anal plate and the anus. So this is the rat mite. Bacotti, fall mite, northern fall mite. So this is the, see you can see small small mites. This is actually in the human condition. So moving to the Ornithonesis silvarium. Morphology, the adults are relatively large, oval shaped. Anus is in the anterior half of the plate. In case of Dermanesis, it was in the posterior half. And these species are much more hairy than Dermanesis. The three anal CT are present. So life cycle, unlike Dermanesis, Ornithonesis spends its entire life on the bird and can only survive for about 10 days away from the host. The female lays uh, one to five sticky white colored eggs on the host. That is the main feature. And at the base of the feathers, primarily in the vent area after a blood meal. So these eggs hatch within approximately a day produce hexapod larvae that is six legged larvae the larvae do not feed and molt to the protonyms the protonyms feed on the blood from the host before molting to become tritonyms so this is very important stage tritonyms the tritonyms do not feed and molt to the adult stage the entire life cycle can be completed five to twelve days under optimal conditions so moving to the pathology the mites reproduce at a higher rate they draw large amount of blood which leads to anemia so this is the Ornithonesis barsa and Ornithonesis bacotti. So these species are very important. So moving to the clinical signs. Clinical signs will be the same as that of the Dermanesis. That is anemia, emaciation, listless character, irritation, reduced egg production. And disease transmission. Ornithonesis bacotti transmits Yersinia pestis which is causing the plague. Q fever caused by the coxia laburnati and the murine typhus which will be transmitted by Ornithonesis bacotti. Ornithonesis silvarian transmits St. Louis encephalitis virus, Eastern and Western encephalitis virus. So the control is actually same as that of the Dermanesis. Synthetic pyrethroids like fenvalrate, del deltramethrin, cypermethrin, permethrin, etc. So dipping method can also be practiced here also. So thank you guys.